Today we will learn how to build this emoji search app. So this application allow you to search for any emoji, right? So let's just say smiling face, then it show me these two, okay? And if I search for angry, then it also show me this as well. And next one is sad, okay? So sad face, then I can search for that as well. And that's not it yet. We will also learn how to build this as well, okay? So now let's look at the code, um, how we first gonna build this. So basically, let me just scroll down first. Um, this is the app component. Uh, we have the search term and also set search term as well, where we can type for any text, right? This is the uh, text field here, right? So this function is using the set search term with the set state, right? And I can just type anything. This will take the value from there and set it into this variable called search term. It will store the information here. And down here, this is the uh, filter emoji. So uh, when I type something with the name, like say smiling or like angry and sad, then it will just filter out right on the fly, uh, whatever that I type in the text box, all right? And this is the um, emoji dot name uh, converted into a uh, lowercase. So here, let me just show you again. Let's just say I uh, search for angry, right? Even though it is capital letter, it's still showing me the uh, emoji. Okay, so we just convert everything that is typed in the text box into lowercase, all right? And it turn the results and store it into the filter emoji. And this is the H1 text just showing the uh, React emoji app. And this is the input itself. Uh, we have the value, whatever that we type, right? It first store in here, then it just showing in the uh, input, okay? And here, this is the on change, uh, basically the function, right? Whatever that I type here. And finally, we just showing the result, right? The uh, filter emoji onto the screen. Up here, we have the list of emoji data. Basically, we just manually type it, right? We have the uh, ID number one up until five, and the same, this is different uh, emoji, right? We have the symbol, and this is the symbol for angry, and this is for sad face, and the name, whatever the name that match this text, it will just show onto the screen. Like say, uh, smiling face, right? With uh, This one is open mouth and smiling eyes. So yep, you can just add any emoji down here in um, this array of object, it's called emoji data. And then we use uh, this data to filter out whatever that we type uh, onto the text field, right? And this is one way you can build this uh, simple application. Now I'm going to show you another way. Um, this one is using the library. So this library is called Emoji Picker React. So we're going to implement this the same as what we see right here. Now let's just scroll down a bit and you're going to copy this here, just uh, installing this library, right? And then just paste the whole line here. Basically, this will install this library called Emoji Picker React. And since I have already installed this, let's just remove this and then start the application again. And next, um, I no longer need the emoji data here, right? Because we are now using the library instead. So I can also get rid of this as well. Just keep everything simple, right? Now we're going to just um, import this under the React. And then down here, we're going to copy the div tag here, right? So, yep, um, should be fine for now. And this one, we actually no longer need it. So now let's go back and here it is guys, as simple as that, we have this um, set up, right? Um, so I can just click on any of this, then it will just show me in the frequently used uh, section. Is this one rolling on the floor laughing, click on it, and then you see it's showing me here. There's a lot more as well. You can just search for anything. It's not only um, the uh, smiley and also people emoji, right? There are tons of this. So we have the other categories as well, like draw well, places, activity, object, animal, let's say cat, right? Dog, I can also search for that. So now we see that it is working, right? But one thing is that I want to click on any of the emoji, then it will just show me on top of this uh, search bar. How do I do it? So now let me just complete the code and show you how this works. So now the code has been updated. So now let's say if I click on one of the emoji, all right, then it just showing me right here. 
Okay, now let's look at the code. Um, so what I did is uh, import the emoji picker. It's still the same thing, but I added another one here. Okay, so this is emoji still coming from this library. Down here we have the selected emoji, also um, the set selected emoji using the use state. So I want to know which one of the emoji that I have selected, right? So this one, uh, the function here is called on click. So I click on one of the emoji then it will just uh, store it into this selected emoji and the emoji data dot uh, unify here the representation right the unicode of the emoji so when i click on it it know which one is selected down here we have the um, emoji picker react demo and then this is the selected uh, emoji so if it does exist right then it's just showing me this one uh, on top of the emoji picker here right so it's showing me right here underneath the text here right the title so I can just click any of this there are many of these emoji you can click on also the size you can also set as well you want it to be bigger you can just set the size here right it's looking bigger right now if no emoji is selected, then it's just showing me nothing. And down here, this is the emoji picker. We just need to add the on emoji click. And this is the function itself, the on clicked. So yep, in this tutorial, you learn how to build it, enter the value manually. And this one is using the emoji picker react where it comes with everything. All of the emoji you can think of is right here. Here I can also change the color as well. So let's say I search for hand, right? Um, the hand color here is yellow. I can also change this to let's say brown or black, right? I can do that as well. It's on here, right? So I click on it. Okay, it's showing me it picked the right color. And the same for this, okay? So this library, it does have everything and you don't need to worry about entering the value manually. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next video.